guys i just wanted to pop in and say today you're watching this if you're watching this on sunday august the 18th me and baby are in houston and we are celebrating our one year wedding anniversary like for one comment below how long you've been riding with us comment below how long you've been riding with me because y'all know i was here before baby and she just joined on in just seamlessly that's how i know it was meant to be but anywho leave us some love i actually linked our wedding website down below because it is still up so if you want to go over and read our story look at some of the pictures leave us a comment in the guest book you can do that as well but y'all we made it one whole year and i am beyond happy like i never thought like again i'm not gonna get into this because this will be long but y'all know where i came from y'all know my struggle especially if y'all used to watch my story times so to be in a marriage let alone a very happy marriage i can't do anything but thank god for it but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and let y'all get into this video <laughs> what's up guys and happy monday today was such a crazy day at work y'all like i'm not even gonna bore y'all with the details but pretty much saturday and sunday we had a bunch of call-ins and so that allowed us not to make the amount of pounds we were supposed to deliver today so today has just literally me been apologizing to the customers for not for them not having what they need and then trying to find drivers and people to fill what they need and take it out so it's been so crazy i had a new clinic that was starting today i was supposed to go and deliver gowns to them and i wasn't even able to do that because we didn't have the gowns ready and about the time they got them ready the clinic closed down because it was just their first day they technically weren't seeing patients but they wanted to go ahead and get the linen like it was crazy so that wasn't a good start to you know uh, our bit our uh, relationship with the customer but i'm not worried about it i'll just have to make it up you know during our little professional relationship just making sure that i handle her request it's just that when stuff is out of your hands like since it's out of my hand since i can't physically go back and feel what she need then you know you kind of got to rely on people that's why i always tell people it's a team effort when it's at work because it's not only you like if something doesn't happen it's not oh that's not my job no it's all of our jobs we're all all under the same umbrella we all wear the same letters on our chest so at the end of the day if something's not being done it's not on one person it's on all of us so it is what it is i'm taking this day as just like a regular monday i ain't doing no trivia because it's a short week for me because i don't go to work friday because we're heading to houston and then i'm off monday next monday as well so next week will be a short week for me so they better get it together because i'm only doing what i need to do to make sure that they'll be good but i can't be here for them but i will make sure that you know everything is done on my part all the orders are in reports that need to be ran like i'll make sure it's done while i'm gone because they know chris don't answer the phone but that's neither here nor there now i am heading to walmart to do a uh, grocery and meal prep this week i'm so excited about meal prep this week and it's only because i've decided to do a salad and that is so weird for me to say because i've never even been a lettuce person but i'm telling y'all that spinach got me feeling myself and then to see that it's improving i definitely want to keep it in my diet even if i'm not like strict on my diet because like i told y'all um, for the rest of the year pretty much because it's August I'm going to still intermediate fast still keep my calories low but not everything is going to be super healthy you know what I mean but this week I am trying to go a little cleaner um, as far as food so for breakfast I want to do that coffee and protein shake again because that is so good and it's so filling like I literally drunk that at 10 and it held me till 1 1 30 when it was time to have lunch and I wasn't like starving so I'm definitely going to do that coffee again and then I'm thinking about apples and peanut butter because I bought that big thing of PB2 and it's just sitting there since I'm not doing smoothies right now so I'm like you know what let me just actually make it into peanut butter and have that with some apples so I'm gonna do that and then for lunch I'm gonna eat what was supposed to be for dinner last week and that is the zoodles with the ground turkey the marinara sauce and then I'm gonna throw some parmesan cheese over it and then of course I'm doing my fiber brownies because I love those I love when y'all tag me on insta or you know snap or whatever 
telling me that y'all love those and you know like my uh, sis Tina she said her kids actually enjoy them which is a good thing because if you can give your children something that's a little bit healthier you know like the, the real health enough to tell me it's not healthy but at the end of the day it's healthier than what you would eat you know what I'm saying it is what it is this whole thing is about give and take you may you might can't eat super clean every day but on the days you can then you do it and on the days you can't then you adjust you know so yeah I'm going ahead and have that for lunch and then for dinner I'm going to make me a spinach salad and it's just going to be spinach carrots eggs chicken um ranch dressing which the ranch that I'm using is not healthy at all it's actually the ranch that they serve at the salad bar at Kroger it's by Lighthouse and they do make a yoga ranch don't get me wrong like I could totally pick the healthier version of it but I'm choosing not to and especially on Weight Watchers my whole salad is zero points so I will only be having to count points for the ranch dressing so I'm excited so I'm definitely going to get that and then I'm going to go back to my graham crackers and whipped cream this week because I still had some in the freezer or whatever so I'm going to give the rice cakes and stuff a rest go back to the graham cracker so yeah pretty much just went through everything <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go to walmart get everything that we need and go home for meal prep it's actually easy because i just need to cook the ground turkey and i assemble everything at lunch or at dinner like i'll put my salad together and i decided to go ahead and do the salad for dinner and not lunch because with my salad i don't want to put everything together all at once like i want to actually build my salad so that'll be too much you know too many ziplock bags that i have to take and section stuff out so i'm just going to make my salad at home so i can just make it you know there um and then the actual like zucchinis and stuff like that i can make that in the morning time like i do and then it'll be good enough for lunch so yeah i'm going to go ahead and do that for lunch the salad for dinner my apples and peanut butter and stuff for breakfast and i'm just trying to keep it you know a little clean this week for the simple fact that last week was uh mother nature here so like i told y'all in last week's vlog i got a little bit water weight on me which is coming off really fast like i didn't i mean i know it comes off fast but like this time i guess because i still was drinking water and everything like it really it really uh came off pretty quick so yeah that is part of the reason like i wanted to eat like super clean and then secondly is because this weekend y'all know it's going down and i don't care anything about being healthy for my anniversary weekend and and baby are actually defrosting our cake because we did keep the top layer of our cake so that we can have it on our one year anniversary and we're taking it with us to houston um i told y'all we're staying at the omni so they have a concierge i guess that's what you call them they reach out to you to help you with your reservations and anything that you need special requests or anything and we did get the romance package and we're like you know we're just doing it up it's our anniversary and even though it's a staycation baby we're gonna have us a good time <laughs> but anyway my concierge emailed me um and so i emailed her and let her know about the cake situation and she said they definitely do have somewhere to put it so it's a good thing though that we're taking it with us and it's frozen because it can like be thawing out on the way but yeah we're gonna actually have our cake on sunday and i still don't have anything to wear don't have anything where it's like i got outfits for every other thing except for the actual dinner that's crazy and we're also having dinner at the capitol grill which is like sister cousins <laughs> to like eddie v's ruth chris it puts you in that kind of mindset and so for our dating anniversary which is in april we always do ruth chris we have done it for the last three years so i guess the capitol grill will be our wedding anniversary dinner unless we go somewhere that does not have a capitol grill but since we have a capitol grill i don't know who calling me and i really don't want to answer since we have a capital grill oh it's work by the way and i'm off that's why i don't want to answer um so if we go somewhere and they have a capital grill then i definitely want to like continue that but then again it's not even that serious we can try something different that's just me i always want to start traditions and stuff <laughs> But no lie, Ruth Chris was baby's tradition because she really, really likes that place. She said it's the best steak, hands down. Nowhere we, I mean, no other place have we gone have they been that good. Which I take that back. She did say the Sugar Factory when we went to Miami, their steak was like you know giving ruth chris a run for their money but for the most part she likes it so that's how that became a tradition so we'll see how the capital grill is let me not speak on it before we get there because we can get there and hate it and then boom i don't want to say that that's, tra that's the tradition but anyway if y'all can't tell your girl is fasting today because like i told y'all i'm not probably gonna fast no more after this like a full day but coming off my you know monthly and stuff like that i do just want to give my my body just time to do whatever it needs to do to get rid of anything excess so i am fasting today 
and then I'll be breaking my fast tomorrow at 10 a.m. But I didn't already talk to y'all so much. This uh, uh, intro clip is so long. This is why the vlogs be an hour long. <laughs> because I just talk and talk and talk. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get to Walmart and get these groceries and I'll pick you guys up when we get home. all my groceries that I have for this week and that's because I still have the ground turkey the zoodles the sauce the cheese like I still have everything for lunch so I only had to pick up what I needed for my salad and for my breakfast so y'all know I will be doing the iced coffee with the protein shake again so I'm gonna do that and then I decided to go ahead and get some market side apples they were already sliced and they come five in the pouch I mean it's five in here so I was gonna like buy apples and cut them up and do all that stuff myself but when I saw this I'm like you know what this is very convenient it's already pre-packaged boom I could just scan and go all I have to do is just make my peanut butter so I'm gonna do that with the apples and peanut butter and then have the coffee and then for uh lunch y'all saw last week what I'm having with the zoodles and stuff but you'll see how I put it together on tomorrow and then for dinner I have me spinach which is so weird because I've never made a salad with only spinach but I have really been enjoying spinach and I can actually eat it now at first I could only do it in smoothies but now I actually eat it so I got me spinach for my um salad I also picked up me some shredded carrots because I love carrots no matter what I've always loved carrots so I'm gonna put that on there I also picked up me some eggs because I'm gonna put eggs on there and then instead of croutons I decided to get the parmesan cheese crisp because they are significantly lower in carbs and calories and this is literally only cheese so as you can see it's just cheese that they baked and made it look like a little round circle so I'm gonna be using this and this is going to act as my croutons um and so yeah you can have about 23 of them for 100 and, oh, I'm sorry I wasn't even showing y'all so you can have about 23 of them for 150 calories and this is significantly less than croutons so I'm gonna put that on my salad and then this is the dressing that I was telling y'all about it's a vlog. It's okay. Oh, I love Y'all, baby over here is doing sign language and driving cars. She finna gonna run an errand. And if y'all, I should have put the camera on her, but that was funny. I love you. Love you too. Ooh, ranch do not much stuff in there. Shut up. So this is the Lighthouse Ranch that I love so much. They have this on the salad bar at Kroger is where I first fell in love with it. And I didn't know if they had it inside like Walmart and stuff. And then when I saw it in the refrigerator section, it's in the refrigerator section. It's not with the other ranch. That's why I could never find it. But yeah, I went ahead and picked this up and it's just like other ranch. So two tablespoons is 120 calories. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to do 130 calories though because my salad is so low that I can allow myself to have an extra tablespoon of ranch. So I'm excited about that. And then, of course, I got my fiber brownies and everything else I had. Now, I did pick this up for a little snack. I had picked this one up first, and then I realized that this is not zero points on Weight Watchers because it's in juice. So, I went back and got the no sugar added that's in water, and this is actually zero points on Weight Watchers. And I like to keep me zero point snacks. So, if I'm just so hungry that I can't hold it, I'd rather just eat something that I know Weight Watchers consider zero points. Yeah, see, it's just 50 calories per cup. So, it's not even that bad for you anyway. But, yeah this is the grocery haul for this week i know it's not much but it's gonna be so good because i've been craving these salads and honestly i don't know if i'm craving the ranch dressing <laughs> and the carrots versus like the actual salad but i'm gonna put it all together oh yeah and for my chicken i had a couple more of these grilled and ready tyson chicken breast fillets i think it's like four left in here so i was like oh good i can go ahead and use these up so this is the chicken that i'll be putting on top of my salad for my spinach and chicken salad but yep that's what we got going. so yes guys i'm about to get ready and go in here and get comfortable i don't know what my braids doing it's so hot it wasn't like a hot pony but then the pony started slipping i don't know what's got going on but i'm about to get ready and go get comfortable and then also i decided that i am gonna send back that roost dress the one that was like super long from 
the vlog last week well week before um so i had went in walmart and got me some tape so i can package that up and send that back i'm gonna keep the other like t-shirt kind of dress i'm gonna keep that one and then i did buy me some shapewear from amazon and i liked it but it doesn't do what i need to do because i really am like looking to cover up my back fat because if you can see like let me show y'all something real quick now we're about to get personal because i'm about to explain to y'all one of my like problem areas that i don't like but hey it is what it is but i don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell it but this is me and baby's engagement picture and if you can look i'm trying to do it back here your girl had like really high fat right so yeah when i was a bigger it never really bothered me because it was like solid you know like yes it was fat there but it wasn't flabby it was solid and it was in one spot it didn't move well now losing all of this weight it dropped and it dropped to kind of like my mid back area so i have like two pockets of fat that's like right there and it sits like right along my bra line and i hate it like i almost wish it would just drop a little lower because i can put on shapewear you know to cover that up but th by that area being where it is it is really hard for me to conceal that and not that i'm trying to like you know conceal it to the point where you guys don't see it y'all know i got loose skin y'all know i lost all this weight so it's not that it's just that though i want my clothes to feel a little smoother in the area so i ordered me some shapewear from amazon and no lie it was 24.99 and i do like it but the reason i'm not keeping it is because like it just doesn't like it will it will be just another shapewear and i can do a, a shapewear haul for y'all if y'all want me to because your girl has ordered from shaper mint i've ordered from fit choice i have avon shapewear i have walmart shapewear like i have shapewear from high end and low end and just not hitting what i needed to hit which is pretty much my indication that get over it crystal like it is what it is um so anyway yeah i'm gonna package that and send that back because again i really really liked it and it was a really great price but it's just it still does not conceal that area so, so it is what it is i'm sending that back so i'm gonna get ready to package that up get comfortable and then like i said for meal prep i literally like i thought i was gonna be in here cutting apples but since i found those apples already cut up i don't have to do that so i just need to cook my ground turkey and then in the morning i'll go ahead and steam my zoodles so those could be fresh and then i'm making a salad for dinner every day so I, oh yeah i need to boil my eggs so i don't have much to do for meal prep but i'm gonna go ahead and get on it and get that done and then baby went and ran an errand and then when she come back i'm gonna chill with her she's off tonight so we're just gonna chill and i'm just gonna like relax because again it's my fasting day and i like to just let my body relax and just you know go through everything it needs to go through but i'm so excited for this week believe it or not tomorrow which is tuesday the 13th is the day that me and baby went to the courts and got married because you have to go to the courts 72 hours before you actually is married or am married or what's the word i'm looking for what i'm looking for before you are actually legally married i should say that um, by a pastor, priest, or a rabbi, whatever, whoever you cho choose to marry you that's licensed in the state of Texas. But yeah, so tomorrow on the 13th is technically me and babies. Well, I can't, you can't say technically because we like like it would have been voided had we not had pam which was the lady who married us had her sign it but anyway tomorrow will be a year that me and baby got, got married like at the courts because we went and said our oath you know and did all that stuff so i'm excited for this week i already know this man y'all see y'all gonna see it all week long because i just love my baby like i've loved her from day one and i still love her and i fall in love with her more and more every day so this is going to be an amazing week you guys are coming along with us i gotta go get like the oil changes stuff done on the car i need to get a pedicure sometime throughout this week i need to pack yes need to pack need to get my makeup together and figure all this stuff out so this is probably gonna be a long vlog let me say that now so uh yeah this is probably gonna be a long vlog or i may even break it up so i may just do this vlog and then just kind of do like our anniversary vlog i think that's what i'm gonna do so that way because if i put everything together this is probably gonna be like a two hour long vlog because y'all know i talk too much so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens after this. But anyway, let me go ahead and get ready to meal prep and stuff. So stay tuned to see what I eat in a day.
here is my breakfast i just have some apples this is just a serving size of apples then i have my um pro premier protein shake the caramel version from premier protein <laughs> and then i have my starbucks coffee and then i have water and then with my peanut butter i decided to do four tablespoons of peanut butter and with that you're supposed to add four tablespoons of water but i only added three and i like the consistency that it gave me because i can like drizzle this over my apples if i wanted to or i might dip it whichever way so with that pb2 you can add as much water as you want or take away as much water as you want depending on the consistency that you want but it still tastes like peanut butter because it's literally just grounded up peanuts so yeah i'm about to enjoy this for breakfast and i know for sure this is going to hold me over because this coffee is very filling because of the protein shake and then peanut butter you know is filling so yeah i'm gonna have this and this is a total of 290 calories and that is a serving of apples then we did four tablespoons of peanut butter the premier protein and the coffee and the water so so 290 calories Alrighty guys, so here is lunch. It's pretty much just a ground turkey with zoodles and I put Parmesan cheese on top just because I just want to flavor it. I love cheese and it's only 20 calories, so why not? And then I have my fiber browning. And one thing I will say is I didn't eat this big old bowl. I put it in this bowl thinking it was gonna be more than what it was, but it's not. So I probably will be doing a smaller bowl. But other than that, I'm excited to try it. So yeah, I have ground turkey and zoodles with marinara sauce and only two tablespoons of parmesan cheese and then i have my brownie and water this will be my 120 no 144 ounces when i finish that and this is a total of 295 calories so yes i'm about to get ready to enjoy it and i'll let you guys know how it tastes this is my first time okay guys disregard the way i'm looking i pull my hair up listen all i'm gonna say is this ish is good like I don't know like I like zucchini but I like grilled zucchini I've never had the zoodles before this is this is what it looks like and then that with the sauce the parmesan cheese and then I season my ground turkey because like I told y'all I don't eat it bland I have to season it seasoning that like it is really good this is something I can see myself eating forever like this is so good I am really surprised like I had to come back I was just gonna eat and then come back and tell y'all but I had to come back now and tell y'all that this is good. Mm, mm, mm. I am so surprised. Look. If you don't try nothing else, try this and let me know how you like. like I don't know what else to say, but it's good. Try it. <laughs> I'm gone. is my chicken spinach salad i'd use spinach carrots eggs fat-free cheese these things right here are the parmesan cheese crisps like i told you they're 100 parmesan and i use those as my croutons and then i have chicken on there and then i opted for three tablespoons of ranch that's why it looks like a lot because i really do like my salad to actually have a ranch taste so yeah i did opt to have three tablespoons and I, i'm paying for it because it's 180 calories but hey sometimes you gotta give a little <laughs> so anyway this total meal is 615 calories and that includes my graham cracker and whipped cream mock ice cream sandwich that i do um so yeah that includes the dessert and it's a total of 615 calories and that is a total of 1200 calories for today i have never hit 1200 on the nose like that like either i'm over or under a little but yes that is 1200 calories on the dot and this stuff is so so good like oh my god i'm about to go in
So what's up guys and happy Thursday. I normally do what I eat in the days on Tuesday or Wednesday. So by this time, I'm just eating my regular meal prep. But I did want to come and show you guys that on yesterday, I used the cookies and cream protein shake. And here's like a little boomerang of what I did. I used that and I really like the coffee. And then today I had a vanilla left. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. That way all my protein shakes will be gone cause I'm gonna be like off plan for a little while, you know, over the weekend for, that, for our anniversary and stuff. So. I'll do a bunch of restocking and a full grocery haul and stuff probably in the next vlog um, But yeah, this was the last one that I had so I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into my coffee So I have my eight ounces of coffee and this is 10 calories And then I have my protein shake and every single one of these are 160 calories Whichever flavor you get one gram of sugar and 30 grams of protein So it truly is a protein coffee But I'm gonna go ahead and try this one out because I don't think I did the vanilla with the coffee I've only did vanillas with my smoothie so i'm gonna try this out and let y'all know which one i like the best out of the caramel the cookies and cream and the vanilla and also when i did my what i eat in a day on tuesday i made my peanut butter and i made it like more creamy um so it was like a little bit more poor you like you can pour it better because that's how i did it but they end up being like super messy for me so what i did this time was i just literally added less water and i made it into a peanut butter so now it is still like i can turn it upside down that it falls out so ooh, it smells so good i love peanut butter y'all but anyway yeah it's um now thicker so now i can just actually take my apples and dip versus me trying to make like apple nachos or whatever like i need to do that at home um so i think that's all the updates i had to tell y'all i'm on cup number three i had to write it down six because i mean oh so i'm on cup number three which is i'm behind but today is my last day at work so i'm doing everything to get caught up like when i got here this morning i made a to-do list of every single thing that needs to be done so i can actually have good off days and then i can you know get back on track when i come back real easy so I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven things cro I mean on my list, and I am down to one, two, three, four things left. So you girl been in here working, and I even went past ten because it is now ten fifteen. So I'm about to get ready, break my fast, but I wanted to come back and show y'all about the peanut butter, so you don't have to do it really creamy. Like it was really good, it just was messy. Um, so yeah, I made that thicker. Oh, and also I did go down a tablespoon. So with that peanut butter i did four tablespoons and it was kind of a lot so i only did three tablespoons this time and i like it which you know brings the calories down so i will be eating less than 1200 calories today because i took off 50 calories so i'll be eating 1150 calories because i did take off one tablespoon of peanut butter but yeah i wanted to go ahead and update y'all on that situation i'm gonna go ahead and finish um what i have to do so i can finish my to-do list because at 3 30 I'm getting ready to go do bow headed hoe shit with my wife in Houston. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, I'll pick you guys up a little later. Oh yeah, and I wanted to show y'all. Remember in the last video when I told y'all that like my ring was stiff? That's how I knew I had water weight. Well, see, it's like when I literally do this, my ring just oh shoot, <laughs> my ring comes off. So that's how I've been gauging this whole weight thing because other than being weighed at the doctor's office and stuff like that, I haven't weighed myself. But that's how I know my water weight is now gone because literally last video i did my hand like this which i need to put my ring back on i did my hand like that hold on one second so yeah i did my hand like that and my ring didn't move and now as you can see i don't know if you can see like it slides it rolls it does whatever it wants to do so yes my water weight has came off and it actually started doing this like tuesday night early on wednesday so i knew that i had dropped you know my period weight gain or water weight whatever i knew i had dropped that then so that's what i say sometimes that scale can say one thing but just gauge your body figure out what it is you know what's different like is my shirts tighter or my pants tighter like that way you can kind of gauge what's going on and then switch up your meal plan and stuff like that and one thing i can say is this week i have been eating super healthy like almost clean eating like other than the ranch dressing and maybe the fiber brownies um everything else is kind of like clean eating like fruits and vegetables i've had zoodles you know i've had all that kind of stuff so i actually do feel good um i don't necessarily like feel a difference like i know people say if you eat fresh food versus processed food like you'll feel a difference i don't feel a difference i still have the same energy that i have and stuff like that but i can attribute that to intermediate fasting because that like helps you out and stuff 
but yeah i feel good and i actually discovered that i like spinach salads a lot and i actually discovered that i like zoodles a lot so you guys will definitely see more variations of that throughout these vlogs because i didn't even know i liked the stuff and now i'm just like oh shit, i like it but anyway i'm gonna go ahead now and break my fast because i haven't talked again so now it's 10 18 <laughs> so i'm gonna break my fast finish my work and then i'm gonna see you guys later this time for real for real all right guys so i want to try this with you guys so i can like give my honest opinion about the three flavors look like it matters but i just want to tell y'all anyway so okay it's my little first sip okay okay this gives you kind of a vanilla well since it's vanilla kind of like a french vanilla feel so if you just had coffee with french vanilla this is, is like the healthier version of it the caramel is really good and the cookies and cream is good but if i had to rank them because i still will use all three of them so i'm gonna rank them i'll go with the caramel and the coffee first which is weird because your girl loves cookies and cream anything but i will go caramel first then cookies and cream then vanilla vanilla is good but i really do feel like it needs something else with it like with the caramel that coffee was amazing especially adding ice to it um with the cookies and cream it was really good and it was sweet you didn't need to add anything to it but with this i feel like you can add a sweetener to it or another flavor like i'll add like hazelnut or something in it just to amp it up but then again i'm not a vanilla person you know what i'm saying so yeah i just want to tell y'all that part but for real for real i'm about to get back to work them apples and peanut butter like i've learned so much about myself this week apples and peanut butter zoodles spinach only salads who am i y'all who am I? so good morning guys and happy friday i am up and at them this morning i have so many errands to run today to prepare for us to go to Houston tomorrow so right now I'm gonna go and get a strapless bra because I've been bra buying bras like crazy I got some from Fenty got some from Victoria's Secret I bought some I even bought a while I mean a bra from Walmart it's okay it's a little flimsy like it started out good but then by the end of the day it was not good like you really get what you pay for but anyway after buying all these bras I never bought a strapless bra in my new size so I'm gonna run an Ashley Stewart because I saw they was having like a sale 30% off sale so I'm gonna run in there see if I can find a strapless bra um, to go with my outfit because yesterday me and baby went to Ross when I got off of work and I found an outfit for dinner um, and it's red and everything so I'll show y'all that whenever I make it back home and then I'll show y'all other stuff that I bought um, you know we'll kind of do like a pack with me type of situation I'll just show you what I got and then I'll pack <laughs> wish I was here to pack with me but uh, I know how it is <laughs> but anyway yeah I'm gonna do that and then after that I need to run and go get the oil changed and get everything done you know to get the car service so it can hit the road and then i also need to go and find some shoes for my outfit so i'm going to run into that little uh off i mean i'm gonna say off brand that little uh hood shoe store i showed y'all in a couple vlogs back i'm gonna run in there and see what goodies i can find and then i got to go get my eyebrows cleaned up because they're not bad but i do want to like get them cleaned up so my makeup can slay i need to go to the beauty supply and pick up lashes like you get what's going on your girl is about to have a very busy day and you guys are coming along for the whole process because i'm like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put the whole prep for vacation in this vlog and then the next vlog after this you'll see will actually be our trip or whatever so i'm super excited to share this with y'all i cannot believe a whole freaking year has passed already i know i keep saying it but i am still shocked like i'm like oh my god like not only has the year came for our wedding anniversary but it's gonna be 2020 like what in the world that is so so crazy but anyway first stop is going to see if we have any luck getting the strapless bra hopefully ashley stewart does have something worst case scenario i will drive to my favorite little shopping center and go to victoria's secret and get one but fingers crossed ashley stewart has one because that's that's the one that's closer to me and all the errands that i need to do is kind of like in like a little triangle like thing or whatever so that'll be cool and i don't have to go you know too far out and stuff coming because technically it still is my off day <laughs> but i ain't gonna lie i enjoy just being out running areas doing some shopping like i'm enjoying this like thank you lord <laughs> but anyway y'all i'll pick y'all up whenever i make it to ashley
my bra from Ashley Stewart, but I'm at a totally different Ashley Stewart than I went to because when I went into that one, we tried on like my bra size is a 38 double D, but since that is a plus size store, I wasn't sure if I would still be a 38 double D, um, and the lady wasn't either. So the clip that you saw that was a 38 D, um, I tried it on, it fit kind of snug, but like my cups wasn't like it just wasn't going to be a flattering bra. So then they didn't have a double D, but they had a triple D. So I tried on the triple D and it fit perfect but it was just a little too big like once i finally like started moving in it was going to be loose and yeah it was too big so she called another store and asked and they did have the double d so i went to, came over here to the other store and tried it on and it fits perfect so I, I did buy it and it's called the butterfly bra from ashley stewart and it has like the straps it comes with clear straps like i'll show y'all that later but yes i love it so much like i love it already but the good thing is the shoe store that i was gonna go to they have like another shoe store that's that same store in another area but it's right here so i'm actually gonna run into this one so that way when i go get my oil change i can just chill i don't have to go to that shoe store if i find something in here so i'm gonna go ahead and head to the shoe store since it's right here and then after that, we're gonna go and get the car serviced. <laughs> and they did have like a pair of shoes I wanted they just didn't have my size so I'm just like okay it is what it is so now I'm headed over to get the car service but, but the same shoe store that I just left out of um they have another one in the area that I'm going so while I'm getting the car service I walk over and hopefully fingers crossed find me some shoes in there um because I just need some shoes to go with the outfit so yeah that's what we got going everything is going by pretty quickly I'm excited I'm kind of hyped up because I had some coffee this morning so I'm just like Ugh. <laughs> so if I'm talking fast or whatever this was going on but yeah so now we're headed to go get the car service and then see if we can find us some shoes Chanel off so she can get full service oil change. I get tire rotations. I told them to change the air filter, do her up so we can hit this road. Um, I did GPS where we're going, and it's literally three hours and 33 minutes from the house, so we ain't got that long of a drive. So that's why I'm not tripping about like being at home because normally when I gotta drive nine and ten hours, honey, I need a whole full day of sleep. So that's why I'm not tripping, but yeah, I'm on feet headed. I don't know if y'all can see, it's like a little shopping center. The shoe store is over that way. McDonald's that way, it's a Williams Chicken, and it's like a little, um, a lot of like mom and pop shops. But again, y'all saw this shoe store in a couple of hours ago. Um, when I went out on my girls night out and I bought those pink shoes with the white sole, I bought them from this one. So hopefully they got the shoes that I saw over there, over here, just in my size. Then that way we won't have no problems. But after the car gets finished, um, when I leave from here, I'm going to go get my eyebrows done. There is a rainbow across from the eyebrow place now and it's new and it is super nice. So I may dip into rainbow. <laughs> not really sure. Like, I'm not sure. But only thing I know is I'm about to go in here. Fingers crossed I find some shoes. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So Chanel is ready to hit the road. I had everything checked. I got a full service oil change. So they did everything. And they also, like, replaced stuff that's low. So when, uh, wipe, um, what is it called? Windshield wiper fluid, power steering fluid, all that. I even got the um, air filter changed out because they always bring it in. You know, it'd be, like, dirty and dusty. So I had them go ahead and change that so Chanel is ready from the inside so now I just need to go and get a car wash and then she's ready to hit the road I did find some shoes and stuff like that so I will definitely show y'all the ones that I got because they're pretty simple they're not even nothing spectacular but you know I'll explain to you why I got them so now I'm running to go well not running but <laughs> I'm going to get my eyebrows cleaned up like I said they don't need to be done too bad but I do just want them cleaned up so my makeup can slay honey um so yeah I'm gonna go do that and I will run into that rainbow and then after that lastly I need to run into the beauty supply to get lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all that it is hot as hell my car says 104 right now and I feel every bit of it like that little walk that I did 
going to get them shoes and going back, I was like, oh, this was a whole cardio workout. I mean, I know I didn't walk that long, but Lord Jesus, that was a long five minutes. <laughs> and it's just because it's hot. So, yeah, but I'm yeah. going to pick you guys back up when I get home, and I'm going to show you everything that I bought, um, show you all my outfits and all that, and then I'm going to go ahead and pack while I'm doing that. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'm home. I done cooled down a bit because it is still blazing hot outside. But I made it home, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything that I have already bought, what I bought today, and pretty much what I I'll be packing on this trip heading to Houston because I laid everything out right here because I'm just gonna bring my suitcase in here and pack right here so yeah I'm gonna show you guys everything and then after this I'm gonna throw it in the suitcase and we'll be good to go um since we're driving I don't have to get like travel size items so I will be taking like my full size setting spray full size makeup products and everything like that um and I have body wash I have all toiletries and everything baby says she do need to run to Walmart so I'll go to Walmart with her a little later when she wakes up but i technically don't need anything else i think i am good to go it's just a weekend trip but i also got stuff that i needed because like y'all know <laughs> i've lost weight and stuff so sizes have changed i've gotten rid of a bunch of stuff so i'm just kind of buying as i go um to rebuild my wardrobe and stuff so yes this stuff is for houston but it's also for life too because i am not like those instagram people i will wear stuff over and over <laughs> like y'all saw this picture on instagram like i don't mind re-wearing clothes that's what it's for because i know a lot of people's like oh i wouldn't wear that again i posted a picture on instagram and i'm like sorry i'm not like that i gotta wear my stuff i paid for it but anyway <laughs> let me go ahead and jump right in so the store that i went to was ashley stewart and i told y'all i needed a strapless bra so i picked up this bra and it is called the butterfly bra convertible and it did come with um some straps and then it also came with clear straps which i think is like so super cool and then the straps actually come off to make it strapless but the one thing that really got my attention and what i'm really excited about is although i lost weight and my chest size went down like i was telling y'all earlier in the vlog i still do have like back fat back here that sometimes my bra will like dig into and so it'll make me look kind of lumpy so i like that on the back of this one you have these hooks right here um, so this is like the first set of hooks and then this is the kind that has like the uh, adhesive on it so it doesn't like roll or move or slide down or anything. So yeah, it has that part. So I'm just going to hook it right there just so I can show you that it also has a second hook and eye and I love that like I just feel like it's so super secure it's not bulgy because when I saw that it had two I was like was well, it gonna make it like look lumpy but it doesn't it looks really really good um I'm gonna go ahead and snap this too so you guys can see and um the lady in the store was telling me that this is like their most loved bra i think it even says it on the tag like everybody loves this bra and yeah so that's how it looks at the back and like i said i feel so super secure i even like jumped in it to see like how my breasts would do and they did really well because i don't want it to slide down and it is padded which i need because you know nipples are disrespectful sometimes um so yeah i'm excited about it i like that it is a bit longer here underneath the bra and then i like that the strappy part is wide enough like i said to catch that back fat so now i'm super excited to wear my outfit that i'm wearing to dinner for our anniversary because when i got this outfit which i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that now i know i was going in order but i just have to show y'all this outfit so y'all know i wanted to wear red right and I got those dresses from Amazon. I sent one back, but I did keep the other um, like t-shirt kind of dress, which now that I have a strapless bra, I'm so excited to wear. Cause when I was putting it on my other bras, I just didn't like the look it gave. And I said that if I got a better bra, that it would work. So I'm super excited to wear that. And you know, I'm good on shapewear. Um, so anyway, I wanted to wear red. So I had gave up on red and I just told baby, I was like, hey, let's just find what fits us. It doesn't matter about the color. And so yesterday she was like, let's go to Ross, we go to Ross and I'm walking down not even looking for it and it came out and this is what I got and it was only $14.99 let me show you that first so yeah it was only $14.99 it's by the brand Halt Monday and I got it in a size large and it has these two straps at the top and then it kind of like flows over on the arm part like kind of like off the shoulder but with straps um it has like a little bit little bit of like a sweetheart dip not much but just enough to make it girly and y'all won't believe this but 
it is a whole jumpsuit sis a whole jumpsuit like and it has like the little wide leg pants to wear heels with and i am loving it like this is something i would have never picked up and i know i did not show y'all well but don't worry you'll see it in the vlog because i'll do an outfit of the day um so anyway yeah when i saw this i was like what is red and i like that it's stretchy like it's just enough stretch to to hit those curves but it's not gonna be like loose stretchy but just enough to know you know go over those curves um and i just love like i just love it already um so anyway i tried it on and i would i like when i first put it on i was shocked myself because again i'm trying stuff that i never would have worn before like i never would have worn a whole red like situation and then for it to be like a jumpsuit suit as well so i called baby and i'm like hey i need you to come to the dressing room she comes over she looks and she's like that's the outfit and i'm like this is the outfit she's like that's the outfit so i'm like hell yes so i'm super super excited about it and like i said y'all will see more because right now i'm not doing it any justice but on it is bomb so since i got this and it's all red and this is kind of going to be like the focal point of the outfit i decided that i just wanted me some black pumps like midnight black pumps i had some before that i bought from dev shops but of course those are not too big so i've been like looking around and i found some that was too high i found some that was too low i found some that wasn't the black that i was looking for like if y'all know what i'm talking about about that black comment below because people be thinking like black is black and i'm like no there are different shades of black so i wanted like a really really dark black kind of suede shoe and when i went into that shoe so today sis that's what i found for 14.95 i'm gonna get it out right now with kimmy and i got a size eight and a half and literally it's just a black pump but this is how it looks it's just a dark black pump it gives you that sexy i'm grown i'm married what you doing i just feel like this is a classic shoe that can never go out of style and i know you're probably thinking hey crystal that's just a plain black pump but this speaks volume so this is gonna be so cute with this jumpsuit like i said i just wanted something pointy something with heels on it just to like bring it baby i want to bring that sexy and then after finding these shoes i did go into rainbow after i got my eyebrows done and your girl hit the accessory lottery they were having three for five and then the stuff that wasn't on sale was buy one get one half off so i went a little bit crazy so the first <laughs> thing i picked up was these earrings and this was one of the sales three for five and it's just gold hearts the word love and gold with like a diamond on it and then some big gold like old school 80s earrings and i will really wear all three of these so i was like hell yeah i'm picking these up and another thing that was on a three for five were these hoops and these are some gold hoops like i told y'all i've never worn hoops before then and I bought those hoops from um, New York and Company and I've been hooked ever since. So I got me a trio of them and these were on the three for five sale and then these have like rhinestones on them. These are solid and then again, these are giving me that like 80s feel. So if I just wanna do something like that, um, yeah, I got these. And then speaking of hoops, gold hoops now i got some silver hoops as well so i picked these up as well and then these weren't on sale these were uh 3.99 but i didn't buy these today i actually bought these the other day um but yeah i got these right here and then i wanted it because these got like rhinestones on them and the other hoops i got are just plain so i picked these up and then these are kind of like a rope and then these are just kind of like a bigger hoop so yeah i was like let me get my hoop game up so got those and then the last thing that i got that was their three four five is the earrings that i'm gonna wear with this outfit so picture this aren't these beautiful oh my god they speak volumes they have the gold rhinestone here and then it's just like a black tassel and then they're long so i don't have to do a necklace so that is it's just gonna be so cute like this area right here is just gonna be open and i'm probably gonna like put some highlight or something i did buy like a bronzer um i'll show you guys a little later but i brought that so i can just like glow put these earrings on so i'm gonna wear this rumper with these earrings and then these black pumps and i bought these belts a long time ago but one of them was black hold on one second something stuck on there got it okay so one of them was black and gold with rhinestones so y'all remember these so i wore the pink one before i end up just putting it back on here because that's how i hung it in the closet and then i have a tan and gold one which i actually have some shoes to match this that i bought from ross a long time ago and i haven't worn i'm gonna go get them and show them to you but this is what caught my eye because this one is black gold and rhinestone so i'm just thinking maybe i could put this belt on to kind of break up the red i'm not sure i'm gonna try it on to see how i look you know see what baby thinks 
but I am definitely going to try to rock this belt. So this belt match these earrings like perfectly and then like I said I got the black pumps and then we got the red jumper so yes I'm going to wear my black and red for the anniversary I'm so excited about it like I cannot wait to get dressed up do my face style my braids like I cannot wait and then also from rainbow i picked these up because these are like rhinestone bracelets so i'm gonna wear these on my arm and then this just came with it and like i said i really don't have you know a purpose of these but, but you can't have too much jewelry i'll find a way to wear those so i'm not doing any tripping but the last accessory i got which i keep messing up is this cute necklace and it did come with like some stud earrings and it came with this necklace and, and it says, says girl boss and i thought this was like so fitting so cute like i'm definitely going to wear this and this wasn't on sale it was 5.99 and i think the yeah these weren't on sale as well and these were 5.99 so these were buy one get one so i only end up spending 15 dollars on all those accessories which i am so super excited about because like i said i used to be an accessory girl and then i gained weight and no lie like i just felt uncomfortable in jewelry and then because like my neck was like as big as it was and my face was as fat as it was and as round as it was i didn't want to wear hoops because i just felt secluded so now i am stepping out of this comfort zone i'm trying new things and i'm so super excited about it but i can't wait to like get dressed up and show you guys like the whole outfit together so yeah one more thing since we're talking about accessories my sunglasses came from um key australia and this time i picked up the sunglasses in jaded and this is how they look so super trendy like straight top you know kind of boxy thing um these are a plastic my other ones the ones that i wear all the time those are metal these are like a hard plastic but i like it because it's secure like it's not it's not loose or anything like that so i really really like them they are hella super dark like when i put this on this whole room got dark but i like that you know these are halo blockers you know what i'm saying and when your makeup's done your hair is cute you know you got the little little confidence going these are super cute so i got these on sale the regular price was 65 but i got them on sale for 39 they was having like a flash sale i got the email and i ordered and them. it came like in really cute packaging and then it also did come with a dusk bag and like cleaning cloth um, my high keys came with like an extra carrying case, but this just came with like a black case, but it does say Key Australia on it. And it is kind of like a structured, like it'll stay open, stay closed or whatever. So yeah, that's good just to protect your sunglasses when you're throwing them in your purse. So I'm super excited about that and I'm definitely going to take these and my high keys with me um, as my sunglasses. So that is what I'm thinking for anniversary night. Um, now anniversary in the daytime since it's Sunday me and baby gonna go probably do breakfast go sightseeing do something before we have dinner and stuff that night I am going to wear this shirt right here I bought it from rainbow it's like a long crop top but I like the material of it because it's like super flowy um so you don't have to like worry about it sticking to you and for me catching like my rose <laughs> um and this was they were two for 10, $5.99 a piece. So I got this in a size large. So I'm gonna wear this. And, and I'm gonna wear it with the biker shorts that I bought like a couple months ago. Cause like I told y'all, I like re-wearing my stuff. So here are the biker shorts and I got these in a size medium and I've been having these. So I'm gonna wear this outfit along with my champions, my red and black champions. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna do gold or silver accessories. Cause now I have a choice. Like at first it was like your crystal necklace, you know, your regular earrings or whatever, but I might do gold and especially since my crossbody has gold hardware i'm definitely probably gonna do gold with that and i just thought about it with my whole like anniversary outfit and stuff my crossbody will still go perfectly with it because it's black and gold like it worked out so perfect um because me and baby are gonna like catch a uber and all that stuff so i do want to definitely have a bag with me to put my camera in my phone and all that stuff so yeah i'm excited about that but also with that shirt i just picked up the black shirt just like that so it was fine $5.99, 2 for 10 and I got this in a size large as well. And I'm just going to bring this just in case. Not really sure. You know, you got to have little fill-ins and stuff like that. 
So I got that and then I went into Target and I got me some jeans because I don't have any jeans. Like the last pair of jeans I bought, I was in a size 16 and then I did buy some jean shorts, but those were a size 14 and now I'm in a size 12. So these are a size 12 and I got these from Target and they're by the brand Universal Thread and they were $19.99 and I love them because they are hella super stretchy. So they bounce back on that booty like you want them to. So yeah, these are just some skinny jeans waisted skinny jeans and then they have just like um a shredded bottom part so goes good with vans goes good with heels you can roll it up if you want to you can leave it straight leg if you want to but they are high waisted so i picked these up like i said just to have something to throw on because i don't have any jeans anymore but i'm trying to get my stuff together um so yeah i got that from target so yeah, winding down here, this turned into a haul, a whole haul video. <laughs> I bought this dress from Rainbow in a size large and it was $7.99 and it's just a black bodycon dress. But the material of this dress is more of a like dressier material. So I didn't want to wear this one with my Vans because of the material, but I thought this could be something cute to, and you can still dress it up or dress it down. Like I could still wear some nice flats or sandals with it, but I just didn't want to wear my Vans with it. Um, So yeah, I picked this up though, just to have me a simple black dress because I don't have any black bodycon dresses. I have other colors but I don't have black. So I picked that up and then yes my crazy self did buy a whole nother black bodycon dress. This one is also a size large and I paid $6.99 for this one from Rainbow. And then this is how this one look and I like this one because it is a cotton ribbed material so it's more of that um, like dress down type wear with Vans type of situation. So this is what I'm probably going to be wearing tomorrow when we hit the road and travel and do all that stuff with my vans throw my crossbody on because when we get into houston we hitting the ground running like we gonna move around um we tried to make reservations at the turkey leg hut but they are booked up for a very long time so we're probably gonna be like standing in line because we're gonna try to go and tough it out so we can try the turkey leg hut and stuff like that um so yeah i want it to be cute but comfortable so yeah, this is the black body con dress that I'm gonna be wearing with my Vans. And then lastly, baby said that um, we can find us something to do on Saturday night. So I'm like, well, I don't know what I want to wear, but I bought this dress for Vegas and I did not wear it. And it's from Fashion Nova, it's in a size 1X. Um, and although I'm like wearing larges and stuff like that, y'all know Fashion Nova is a junior plus. So the 1X is like a large. <laughs> um, so it fits pretty well, at least I hope it does. Cause I haven't worn it so long. I mean, I haven't tried it on, but anywho, yeah. So it's just a mesh dress at the top and it also has a mesh here at the bottom. And then the material of it is I don't know what material it is, but it is kind of textured. And I thought this was like a really cute throw on dress that's cute, but with the whole mesh detailing and stuff, it kind of like makes you look like you did more than you did. So yeah, I'm definitely taking this to wear this on Saturday night if we decide to go somewhere. I really don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear with it because I do have some heels to wear with it. But like if me and baby bar hopping, then I don't wanna wear heels. So I haven't decided what shoes I'm gonna wear with this, or even if I wear this, because I could totally wear a cute crop top with my high-waisted jeans and my black pumps and call it a day. Like, I could do that as well. So, it just depends on what we're doing. So, I am going to take some options. But, yeah, that is the last of what I am going to pack. We're only going, we'll be there Saturday, Sunday, and we come back Monday. We have a late checkout, and we're coming straight home Monday uh, because both me and baby work Tuesday. So, we're not, like, doing anything crazy. So, I'm not going to overpack, but I'm definitely going to make sure that I have a enough options based on what we do because we don't know what we're doing so i don't want to just take all dressed up clothes and then you know every time every time we go somewhere i got on heels and my feet hurt but then i don't want to be dressed down every time we go somewhere either just in case we find like a really nice place to go to because that's what happened in vegas like we did find a couple of clubs that they gave us free access to and vip and stuff but there was a dress code and we didn't bring anything for the dress code so i definitely this time want to be prepared for that but I am super excited about our one year anniversary. I'm super excited about just just going leaving Dallas because like I always said I'm not at work I'm not talking to customers me and baby are out we're we're gonna be like eating out trying new stuff I get to get pretty and dressed up and everything like that so I'm super excited for this week 
Oh, one more thing before I close it out. I did go to the beauty supply and there I didn't even pick up much. I already have some like foaming mousse that I'm gonna use to spruce up my hair. So don't even worry, your girl ain't gonna look like this. Y'all know I came to slay and it's my one year anniversary, honey. I came to slay. So I'm going to get these braids together. I'm gonna style them so I got me some mousse and all that stuff. But I, but I also picked up these like, um, like scrunchy things. Like these are like super, super stretchy and then these are more um, like a little tighter more of a rubber band feel and me and baby can use these because she said it's hot and She want to pull her dress up to, as well. She went and got a haircut yesterday No day before yesterday. So you guys will see her It's real nice. He did her little um, Design and stuff like that. But yeah, I got these for me and baby so we can pull our hair up And then lastly I picked up my favorite lashes ever which are only 99 cents and they are by Broadway and they are the wispy lashes So yeah, that's how these look and, and I like these because I do have a hooded lid So too much lash will make my eye look closed So I like these because they are dramatic But they are thin enough to where you can still see my eyeshadow see my eyes stuff like that and I even do like to stack these. Like if I want drama drama, then I stack them and it just really brings it. And they're wispy and they just give you the drama and it just really makes my makeup look pop. So yeah, I picked up five packs of these just to have extra, just in case one breaks or yeah, I know they ain't nonsense. So I picked those up, but I am considering maybe stacking one just for the anniversary night. So really bring drama then and then while I'm there, just wearing a single one the whole rest of the time. But yes, guys, that is everything. I'm about to get ready to go get this suitcase and just start packing everything up i will be packing my makeup as i do my makeup in the morning so that way i know i'm getting every step but again we're not going to be gone that long and i'm pretty much just going to take one palette and i'm going to take all my fenty beauty stuff because that is what work in this kind of heat like i know my face won't melt off i don't have to worry about it get super oily and stuff like that so yeah my makeup is going to be super kind of boring because i'm just bringing like standard makeup with an eyeshadow palette that has the different colors that i'm going to do but for the most part i probably won't even wear eyeshadow i just probably do foundation and a bold lip because i'm definitely going to wear my new um mac lipsticks that i got a couple vlogs ago and stuff like that so i'm super excited guys i know i've said this so many times in this video but it is the truth like for one i'm off of work I ain't got to worry about work for a couple of days. And then for two, I get to celebrate my love. Um, Like I told y'all, we are taking the cake with us. And we're staying at the Omni. So I will be giving y'all a room tour. And just showing you the hotel. And what we're doing. And what we explore. So I'm super, super excited. And I have decided as you're seeing this vlog that I'm going to put that in the next vlog so that way you don't have to worry about why Crystal uploaded a two hour long vlog Lord. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that I would definitely be putting it in the next vlog so I'm gonna go ahead and end this one out so I can give me some rest get packing get stuff together and then baby's about to wake up here in a minute and then I'm gonna run some errands with her and then when she goes to work I'll be uploading this so you guys can see it on time so if you're not this is your time to go ahead and subscribe and turn your notifications bell on to be notified when I post the next vlog which will be our one year anniversary trip and I'll see you guys super soon